All right, guys. Today we're gonna do something a little different. Um, it gets to the hard why side of this channel. Uh, when I teach new shooters, they always ask, you know, how do I do this? How do I do that? And then when I instruct them how to do it, they say, I wish you could be with me every time we get to the range. So that's what this video is for, um, for them to review before they go to the range. And we're gonna talk about grip today. Uh, proper handgun grip. With me, I have my uh, Glock 35 uh, pistol, but it's gonna, it's the grip's gonna be the same for any semi-automatic gun out there. Um, revolvers is obviously a different story. But in terms of grip, uh, a couple things we're going to talk about first, how to pick the gun up. If you extend your hand, when you pick the gun up, you want the gun to be in line with your elbow. So as the gun is oriented downrange, it comes straight up in line with your elbow. That's where your hand should be. It should be as high as possible in the grip. We're going to show you why that is here in just a second, but it should be as high as possible. Um, you want your fingers up underneath that trigger guard and that's your dominant hand. Obviously, if you're left-handed, it's going to be the exact opposite of what I'm doing. Your support hand, this is where a lot of people mess up. A lot of people do this, or they do this, or they just wrap it under, or even the saucer cup. Uh, we're going to try to avoid that. You want this gap right here in your hand, you want that gap to be filled in. All right? That gap is the unsupported part of the gun. You want to support as much of the gun as you can. So in order to do that, if you take your hand, your support hand, make a little L shape like that, and you come in at a 45 degree angle to the gun itself, you'll see that it fills that gap in there very nicely. Wrap it around, point both thumbs towards the target as we extend out as such. That is gonna be the proper handgun grip. You're gonna pull a little bit with your support hand, push a little bit with your dominant hand in order to stabilize that gun. Extend out, press, squeeze the trigger to the rear. That's our handgun grip. All right, we're gonna show you why that's important here. Hopefully the camera will pick up on it. Let me see if we're getting in there. We are. All right. So the reason we want to get up high on the gun is because if we're down low on the gun, you see I, I don't have, I'm not high up in that beaver tail. If we grip the gun real low and take a few shots here, I'll show you how it looks. It just feels unnatural. But see how the gun recoiled? The gun's coming up. It's flipping. It's flipping a lot in my hands. I wasn't actually aiming at anything, guys, so <laughs> just roll with me there. But the reason is that slide is recoiling straight back, okay? And that's where the momentum's trying to go. The higher up you have that gun, the more you can drive it out, and ha the muzzle flip will be lessened greatly. So if we were to do the same thing and go up uh, with both hands, strong, as high as possible on the gun, and take those shots, we extend out, press. You notice the recoil of the gun is much less. Hopefully you guys can see that on there. Um, also, why you want two hands, why you don't want to shoot one hand, the old uh, basic training videos from the World War I that you guys see, you guys shooting like this. The reason you don't want to do that is because, watch where the gun recoils. It goes up and to the left. Why does it go to the left? It goes to the left because on the left side of the gun, there's no support, so it goes the way of least path of least resistance. We'll do the same with this hand. See how the gun went up and to the right because on the right side of the gun there's no resistance. You want resistance on both sides. Now watch how the gun recoil. It really doesn't recoil or very minimal at least and it does just straight back because I'm supporting the back of that gun. All right that's about it for grip guys. Um, if you have any questions post them in the comments section let me know. Um, we'll get into stance one of these days as well but for now grip it's the biggest mistake I see new shooters make at the range. So, uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.